Here is a quick video showing how you can use CapCut to add captions and animate them. Make sure your video is loaded with the audio. And then select Auto Captions. If your audio is in a different language, select the language and press Create. If you had created captions before, you can enable the Clear Current Subtitle checkbox so that the existing captions will be removed. Give it a minute and CapCut has now added a caption track to your composition. When we preview the composition, we can see the captions are now shown. We can style the captions to our needs. Let's move to the text tab. Let's start by selecting a different font. Increase the font size and repositioning the caption. Make sure you either have all the captions selected in the timeline or have the apply to all checkbox checked. Let's do a quick preview. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything. Not bad at all. Time to change the style. And I'm going to use a predefined style here. That looks pretty good already. As a final step, we can add animations to the captions. For this, we need to go to the animation tab and select captions. The desktop version of CapCut does not have an intensive library of caption animations, but there are a couple of interesting ones. Let's try this if one. I'm going to fall. This one will make the current speaking word color orange. Sadly, there is no option to change this active color. I can, however, change the text color to light yellow, for example, so that the orange color works better. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on any. We also have this animation where the words if are I'm shown while fall. being spoken. This animation uses white as the default text color and uses your selected color for the active word color which is why the active word is shown in light yellow. If I change the text color to dark yellow, we get a very nice effect. If I'm going to fall... Or how about blue? If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back. Pretty cool. Finally, let's try the last animation option, which shows the words one by one. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything. Sadly, you cannot combine caption animations with other animations like in or out. When I apply an in animation, notice how the caption animation is set to none. Let's turn off the in animation and reset back the word by word animation we fall. used earlier. Here is a power tip for you. You can customize single words to make them stand out. For example, I want to emphasize the word hit. Let me first zoom in the timeline, and as you can see, this word, hit, is part of a longer sentence. When I scroll back in the timeline, notice how the word, to, appears in the same caption box. So the first thing we need to do is turn off Apply to All checkbox in the basic text selection. I'm then going to increase the size of the text box, but remember, this applies to all the text in the sentence. When we play back, you notice how this is not working. To fix that, I'm going to open up the Captions tab and break the line at the word hit by pressing Enter. A new caption box has been added in the timeline with only the word hit. I can go back to the previous caption box and reset the size so that this will show up as before. Please, this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Because we changed the caption box, the timing of this caption box will not be correct and we need to fix that. Let's zoom in a bit further and adjust the caption box length to stop with the last word of that caption box. I can now move the caption box with the word hit to follow this box. Let's do a quick preview. See what I'm going to hit. And we immediately notice that the word hit is not shown long enough. But by making the box wider, we can fix that. See what I'm going to hit. That looks and sounds good for now. As we have separated the word hit, I can apply a different size and style the word hit to emphasize it. To make it even more dramatic, I can add a sound effect from the sounds library. 
and add a bomb or hit sound. After repositioning the sound effect and lowering the volume of it a tiny bit, you get something like this. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Thank you for watching and hopefully you found this video useful. Until the next video.